Hello everyone, my name is Miss, and welcome back to some more Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Today we are going to be doing Dark Pits route, Created Warriors. So, for this route, all of Dark Pits opponents are going to be characters that are artificial creations or genetically enhanced, with the exception of one, but we will get to that later. So, these, some of these battles also have very long explanations to it, so I will explain them once I I'm done with the battle. So first up we have Mewtwo and Spear Pillar. So Dark Pit, if you didn't realize by now, is an echo fighter of of Pit, which we played as last episode. So so this is gonna be a bit similar to how last episode was. But only time will tell because I do think I did better on Dark Pit Sprout than I did on Pit Sprout when I last played this, when I last did Classic Mode. But I forgot what I got on Pits. So that was Mewtwo. And, that about, and it references how Mewtwo was created as a result of genetic experiments in the Pokemon Mansion on Cinnabar Island. It is a clone of Mew, but its genes were spliced with that of another creature. So that's why we fought Mewtwo. So. Up next, we have... Dark Samus on Frigate Orpheon. Which means we it's two Echo Fighters battling each other. Ow. Ow. Shoot, I'm not dying this early. I was hoping I could, I was hoping I could get Dark Samus that way, but nope. No, I'm not getting screwed over by another m mushroom. I'm. Why do the computers always want it? Oh God, no! Shoot, I didn't. No. Damn it! Stupid mushroom! Continue. The mushroom faded off and my controls were back to normal, but because of how much time, I did. Stop it with the stupid mushroom! When is that stupid thing gonna run out? Damn it. I missed. He's dead anyway. So, that references Dark Samus simply being a fusion of Samus's DNA in her Phazon suit, animated by Phazon. Like we, like what we said during Dark Samus's route. So, up next we have three Dark Links in Temple. This was a bit confusing to me at first. I mean, I understand why Dark Link was a enemy, but I actually had to do a bit of research to determine why there were three Dark Links. This sounds like it's post-commentary right now, but it really isn't. Oh God! I was hoping that he wouldn't detonate that bomb. Oh, oh God! I didn't realize I was a shell oh, stop it oh my god oh god no holy crap how did I not die because I uh, because I almost um jumped straight off the stage stop running away from me I meant to do my upbeat but I'm glad I did the electroshock arm instead because I actually mm, Stop it! Because that, because the electroshock arm actually did damage to them. Oh god, I launched him into a pal block. Okay, I only have one left. And he's running away too! Cowards, all of them! Okay. Oh wait, he's... Okay, he's dead. So, that reference... So... So, um, as you saw, that 
reference Darklink, and due to three and due to there being three Darklinks, this could also be a re reference to the Dark Interlopers from the Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess, also known as one of the creepiest cutscenes in Zelda history. Up next, we have Midgar. I mean, Cloud on Midgar. I almost got my almost got my um stages and character mixed up. So I was also confused why we fought Cloud at first when the game first came out because I had never played Final Fantasy 7 before, which is crazy to a lot of people because it's one one of the most popular Final Fantasy games of all time. But it's true. And oh god, it's the laser. But the truth is, I've never played a Final Fantasy game in general. So, what I discovered is that, um, after the Nibelheim incident, Cloud and Zakfir were captured by Shinra and injected with Genova cells by Professor Hojo. This turned them into Sephiroth clones with superhuman abilities. I had to look that up because I had never played Final Fantasy 7 before. So I didn't know that was the reason Cloud was on this route. And speaking of characters I didn't didn't know why they were on this route, Captain Falcon in his Blood Falcon uniform on Big Blue. Because I have never played Final Fantasy. Basically, the Basically, the last bat fouls, 3, 4, and 5, I had no idea. So, I kill him quickly, wow. So, as I said, that costume referenced Blood Falcon, which is an evil clone of Captain Falcon. So, this next battle is the exception of... It. So, remember what I s said when I was talking about, um, what this route is supposed to be like and it says there was one exception this is the exception pit on Palutena's temple which references dark pits battles with pit this is literally the only fight where we do not get a genetically enhanced warrior or clone stop it jesus no Oh my god. Knock it off! Ow! Stop it! So... Ah. I can't get hit off him! Oh my god, I'm gonna... So... Also... Once we actually get to the final boss, the final boss is also going to coincide with what the theme is. I'm not going to say who the boss is yet because it's a boss we haven't even faced in this playthrough yet. So I'm just going to leave it up to that. Oh god, I didn't realize I was about to go up. I planned the stage for that hit. Oh my god! I can't do shit! Pardon my language! But seriously! Oh my god. The Smash Bros getting in my way! I really hate this stage. I know that sounds like a broken record whenever someone says it, but I really do hate this stage. Oh my god! Mostly because I hate it when the stage is laid out in a way that saves someone from being killed when they should have been killed in the first place. And then it ends up killing you when it shouldn't kill you in at all. Oh god, no.
Pit, thank you. Thank you for saving me the fall lake of having to wait until my until the angel until the free fall end. Are you serious? I should kill them. No, I want the Poke- You piece of garbage! Screw you, I'm not going down there! Are you serious? Of all things that could've saved them! They had to be there at this specific moment! Please, thank God! Jesus! Next is the bonus stage. I am running my ass off. Because even though I survived as Pit, Dark Pit is different in some aspects, but not all of them. Alright, please. I'm sorry I'm quiet for some of these moments, but sometimes I have a hard time figuring out what to say. Social ability is not a strong suit of mine. I'm... Jump! Seriously! The black hole's right there! Jeez! Alright, now on to the final boss. Which is... Gallium, and we are fighting with Pit. Pit is our teammate against Gallium. And... If you didn't know what this stage is called, this stage is just simply called base. Oh god, he grabbed me! I didn't even know he could do that as a move. I haven't fight Gallium. I haven't fought Gallium in so long. Gallium in so long. So, this fought. This fit the route's theme because Gall due to Gallium being a robot. So, are we? Oh my God! Please, please. Thank God we killed him without dying! Wow! I don't think I've ever beaten Gallium without dying before. So like I said, that stage is just simply called base. I have no idea why I got worse than I did off recording. Great. So... The theme that's going to be playing now is called Dark Pit's theme, which is from Kid Icarus Uprising since that's the only game Dark Pit appears in. So I think at this point we fought every single boss in this game at least once with the exception of the one seen exclusive to World of Light. Which, I don't think I'll be covering in this particular Let's Play. If I do end up covering it, it'll be its own Let's Play. And I'm not covering it simply because I haven't even completed it yet. I know the game's been out for four, for four years at this point, but I still haven't completed it in its entirety. Oh my fucking god! Oh my god! Game! Screw you! There's no way I'm gonna complete the bar now because this game is a piece of crap. Also, as for the lateness of this video, this has nothing to do with technical problems at all this time. I just simply forgot that I had to upload a video today. That was stupid of me to even forget. 
So I have no one to blame but myself for this video being late. But, hopefully, you guys don't have to wait too long. And, hopefully, next week will be better in terms of uploading. Because, I was late on two of the three videos this week. And that is a habit I do not want to be getting into. So, wait, did I actually complete the- I filled up the bar! Somehow. Wow. Didn't think I did. So. Our congratulations screen is... Dark Pit, Palutena, and Pit in a Dark Costume on Final Destination. Oh, Palutena and Pit are both in Dark Costumes. So. The... The spears we got are Rotom from Pokemon Gen 4, Turn to Blue from Pac-Man, and that's it. Wait, how is Rotom two stars? I don't understand that. You can probably evolve it. But, anyways, that was it for Dark Pits route. On Monday, we will be doing Zero Suit Samus's route, Grapplers, Whips, Claws. Le I will leave that to your own interpretation. But until then, my name has been Miss, and I will see you all next time. Take care.